Yeah, I think in the long run, customer experience and growth are perfectly aligned. And unfortunately, in the short run, they are perfectly misaligned. So that's the that's the difficult part, you know, which is the short run versus the long run. I think what we have done is one is you know we have internally, genuinely, uh, you know, we live and breathe uh, NPS as a metric. It is as important. We only have two metrics that matter to us as a company. Our top line right now, we are not you know very very hard focused on profitability. So one. North star metric for the company is the top line. The other North star metric for the company is the customer NPS. And I would say between the two, for me, at least the more important metric is the customer NPS metric. Like a lot of companies say we're obsessed with customer experience, but you have to be obsessed, you know, and it has to be reflective in the internal trade-offs that you make. I think the second thing is actually scale allows you to do things and make investments in customer experience, which you probably didn't have when you were, you know, two or three times smaller as a company. So every year, one of the things we do is, is we ask ourselves, what is it that this new scale that we have seen allows us to do now, uh, which we couldn't have done earlier? What kind of investments can we now make into the core quality of customer experience? And that has led to investments we've made over time, like training. You know, Today we have over a hundred training centers in the country. We have an in-house fleet of 150 trainers. Uh, any given month, we're training four to 5,000 service professionals. So that has been a big investment. It has allowed us to go deeper into categories and create category-specific capabilities. It has allowed us to invest in supply chain of products, you know, buying from OEMs. So a whole bunch of, I would say, capability building. Because eventually, quality is only going to come from you know, if you have the core capabilities of your business built out, if you have the, if you have the sort of highways of your business rolled out, right? So, um, I think there one shouldn't be shy. Like I, particularly in India, one shouldn't shy away from heavy lifting. Like quality in most sectors in India comes thin. Uh, so, you you almost as a technology company have to you know say okay, technology is super important and. It is going to touch every aspect of my business and my operations. And many of them will be technology first or technology only. But I will also build the core underlying supply chain in this category. I will build it versus just aggregate it. Uh, you know, and, and, and that's somewhat different from the Silicon Valley view of doing things. Uh, but you know, my, my view is that in India, there's, there's the real moats and the you know, ability to build large business only comes if you do 